When it comes to heart disease and stroke, things can literally change in an instant. That's right. And for one Tierra Verde couple, they went from living an extremely active lifestyle to having their life turned upside down. Stacey Scheibel has their story. What inspires you? You know, I never know. I just kind of look at it and then I, I kind of form it in my head. Gerhard Endres is doing something he never thought he would, painting. I just kind of get the colors and get started on it, whatever I feel like it. Painting came about after Gerhardt's very active lifestyle came to a screeching halt a few years ago when he suffered a massive stroke. It absolutely came out of the blue. He was the most active man imaginable. We moved down here for the outdoor life. We, you know, biked, swam, walked, ran, <laughs> did it all. Gerhardt was just relaxing on the couch after playing four hours of tennis that June morning when he collapsed. All I remember, I just got real, real weak and I slid down the couch. His wife, Jillian, wasn't home at the time, but luckily a friend found Gerhardt and called 911. And I get goosebumps when I think about it because I wouldn't have been home till 10 o'clock that night, and so he wouldn't have made it. Gerhardt spent months in the hospital. I was really afraid of him coming home because I didn't know how I would take care of him. And it's been a battle. It's been, it's been hard. I'm not used to sitting around, so. You're not a big fan of sitting around? No. <laughs> Slowly, and after a lot of rehabilitation, Gerhardt can get around better on his own now, and about a year ago decided to take a painting class. Turns out it's been great therapy. It's been amazing. It's changed both our lives, and um, it's given him a purpose again. So much so, the Endresses have turned it into a business called G's Art Plus. His creations are now greeting cards they sell locally. We have a whole new journey, we have a whole new purpose, and the biggest thing is that he is inspiring so many people by what he's doing. And, you know, it's just, we always wanted something good to come from this, and, and that's exactly what's happened. The stroke did turn their lives upside down, but Gerhardt strives to stay positive. Don't wish that on anybody, it's, it's really hard. But you have to really, you have to fight to get back. It's just not, you can't give up. If you give up, you lose it all. He is certainly not a quitter, man. Mm -hmm. He has come around. It's been a long time since he had that stroke, but they just keep moving forward. She said they truly wanted to find a way to make lemonade, and that's why so many people year after year gather at Raymond James Stadium for the Heart Walk. So I hope you will join us this year, too, because the first 50000 we raise is matched by Billy Fusillo. A generous offer from mm -hmm. him. He's a good painter, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he is. did a great job. Selling Thank you for that. Now. All right, well, you can join Stacy's team by signing up, wfla.com slash heartwalk.